Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Eleni. I am a first year dental student and today I wanted to talk to you guys about the DAT. Um, so the DAT is the dental admissions test and everyone has to take it um, if you want to go into dental school. And so this is going to be a big part of the application process. So there's a lot of information that you need to know before you sign up, before you start studying. So I just wanted to do a quick video for you guys to try to just give you like an overview of information that I kind of um, went by when I was studying. Um, okay, so first, when do you take it? So I took it after I took organic chemistry. So I took it from my sophomore year into my junior year. And so this actually gave me the opportunity to take it again if I wanted to. And I actually ended up wanting to take it again. So I took it for a second time um, the following summer going from my junior year into my senior year um, and that was about the same time that I was applying so I took it at the beginning of July I took it July 12th um, and that allowed enough time for me to send in my application and then for them to get my um, DAT scores so I chose to take it over the summertime because um, I kind of treated my studying like a job so I would wake up in the morning and study all day um, and that was basically what I did um, in my days so I didn't really do anything else I didn't have a job um, I didn't go anywhere over the summer so that's why I chose to do it over the summer so I could just focus just on studying and just do that all the time um, actually the reason why I decided to take it a second time was because the first time when I was studying, um, I actually did go away, so I felt like I didn't score as good as I could have. So when I decided to take it for the second time, I made sure that I wasn't going anywhere so I could just study for um, 10 weeks straight. So I, I took three months to study for it. Um, and so the things that I used to study was first, I used um, Ari's DAT Bootcamp and this is gonna be the best resource that you guys can use. Um, so he has a 10 week study schedule and I followed that day by day exactly. And this is the best um, study guide that you can use and he tells you what other resources to use. And so from Ari's Bootcamp, there's also um, practice tests that you can do. And so in his um, weekly schedule, he'll tell you when to take full practice exams, and those are gonna be through the DAT bootcamp. Um, and then it'll also say this in the schedule too, the ADA has a um, like actual exam that you can buy, and I remember I used that as like to stimulate a real exam to see how I would do. So I, I would go to the library and just do the exam just like if as if it was a real exam. Um, so I did that. And then also with Ari's boot camp, he'll tell you to watch, I think they changed it. So when I did it, um, I was watching Chad's videos, which is on Course Saver. But I think now um, on the DAT boot camp, they tell you to watch Mike's videos. And I didn't use those, so I don't know how good they are. But I was using Chad's videos. Um, and those videos were great. Um, he does uh, chemistry, organic chemistry, and math. And I remember when I was watching his videos, everything that I never understood in organic chemistry and chemistry finally made sense to me. So those are really great um, videos to watch. So, so those are on Course Saver. And I'll have everything linked down below for you guys so you can find it very easily. Um, another thing that Ari talks about in the boot camp in his study guide is the Cliff AP Bio book. I'm pretty sure that you can download it. I'm pretty sure that I would download mine, print it out, and then just like highlight things. Um, so that's what I did. But if you like to have the hard copy of the book, uh, go ahead and buy that because it's definitely a good resource. And you definitely want to be studying a lot for biology. I remember it's one of the harder parts of the exam because biology has such a wide range um that you can see any kind of questions so it's a lot of material to cover so it's definitely worth it to get the um, cliff uh, ap bio book and then 
Another thing that I got, which I don't think is in Ari's, oh, no, it is, I believe, in Ari's boot camp, are the um, DAT Destroyer and the Math Destroyer. Um, I would show you guys what they look like, but I think I donated them to my club when I was in um, college. I just gave it to the rest of the pre-dents in my pre-dent club. And so basically, it's just this white book, and it has tons and tons of practice problems, and Ari will kind of in his schedule tell you which problems to practice on which day so he'll be like okay do questions 1 through 20 today and then tomorrow you do 20 through 40 and so with this DAT destroyer the questions are extremely difficult so if you aren't getting them right um, don't worry because they are extremely difficult, way more difficult than what is going to be on the exam, but it is very good practice. So if you go through his questions, if you go through these questions and then you try and figure out the answers afterwards, if you didn't get it right, um, you should be good. And then another thing that I used was... Well, I think that's all I used. I just used Ari's boot camp and then the DAT destroyer and the math destroyer. But some other resources that I have written down um, that you might want to use is the Q Vault, um, Crack the Dat, and Achiever. I didn't use any of those, but in case you wanted something else, um, those are just some other resources that I knew about. Um, so all of this stuff is um, a little expensive. I know Course Saver, it's $50. I think per month or maybe $30 I can't remember but um, I think it's way better than signing up for like a Kaplan course I remember when before I was taking the DAT I was deciding between um, taking like a course like Kaplan or not and it ended up being fine doing Ari's boot camp um, I think it ended up being way better than taking a course honestly because you can just do it at your own time um, do it at your own pace in your house if you get stuck on one particular like subject you can go back to it so I felt like Ari's boot camp is definitely worth it it is a couple it is gonna cost you some money to get all these books and stuff but it's definitely worth it when you're taking this test you want to do well on this test so you want to get all of your resources um, and so now what is on the test so there's a couple of different sections um, they have perceptual ability quantitative reasoning, uh, reading comprehension, biology, general chemistry, organic chemistry. And so this is why I suggest taking it after, your, after you take organic chemistry. I took it my sophomore year, so I guess it depends when you take organic chemistry and general chemistry. So I would recommend taking this the DAT after you take organic chemistry. In that way, you have plenty of time to take it. And then if you need to, you can take it again. And so the reason why I decided to take it again was the very first time I got an 18 on it for my academic average. And like I said before, I went away on vacation, so I felt like I could do better. So I took it again and I actually bumped up my score to a 21. And this was because I dedicated all my time to studying. I treated it like a job. I studied for 10 weeks, which is how long Ari's boot camp is. So if you take three months to yourself over the summer just to study, you should be perfectly fine. Um, and so I'll just tell you guys the scores that I got overall. So on perceptual ability, I got a 22. Quantitative reasoning, I got a 22. Reading comprehension, I got a 23. I felt like reading comprehension was probably the easiest section. So you want to make sure that you can do really well on that one. Biology, I got a 19. Uh, general chemistry, I got a 22. Organic chemistry, I got a 18. So my total science was a 20, and then my academic average was a 21. And so basically, another reason why I decided to take it again was because I knew that I wanted to go to Tufts, and um, Tufts, G, uh, sorry, Tufts um, DAT scores that they like to look for is an 18 and I did get an 18 but I knew my GPA was a little bit lower so I thought if I could bump up my DAT score that would help me um, give me better chances in getting in so if you know that your um, GPA is a little lower than you would hope for try and score a little bit higher on your DAT because that will help you um, when you are applying for your when you are doing your applications. Um, and 
I feel like that's basically all I have for you guys. Um, yeah, so the DAT is a four hour exam. Um, you actually get your score right away. Once you hit submit, your score will pop up onto the screen. I was not expecting that, so when it did happen, I was a little like frightened when that happened, but um, I think that was good because then you're, you're not waiting for your exam scores, you're not anxiously waiting. It just pops up right away, so you can leave and you know what you got and you can decide whether or not you like your score or you want to take it again um but yeah the dat is a difficult exam it is very long it is a lot of information but if you are dedicated to your studying and you follow ari's boot camp you're gonna do great um so yeah i think that's all i have for you guys i hope this video was helpful if you guys have any questions make sure to put them in the comments down below make sure to like and subscribe and i hope to see you guys in my next video thanks so much for watching bye so i just wanted to show you guys what my scores were i got a 22 in perceptual ability uh 22 in quantitative reasoning 23 in reading comprehension 19 in biology 22 in general chemistry, 18 in organic chemistry, and my total science was a 20, and I got a 21 academic average. So that's what I got when I took my DAT for the second time. Okay, so I just wanted to show you guys quickly what this looks like. So this is the DAD boot camp, and you can sign up right here, and so this is where you can make your username password and you'll have an account to get started with DAD Bootcamp. And so with that you can find Ari's study guide and he basically lays out everything you need to know for the DAT, how to register, when to take it. Um, all this information can be found on his study guide and then if you go all the way through he tells you exactly what to use, um, what you're going to need, and then at the very bottom, if you go all the way down, you can find his 10-week study guide. And here, with this study guide, he'll um, tell you exactly what to do on which day, and here again he has what you'll need. And then so like week one, day one, you he'll lay out exactly what you need to do in each day. Um, so like day two, reread boot camp biology notes, um, highlight whatever, complete the bio, chapter one question bank. So he has all this here for you and it's just so easy to, to follow it. So like I said before, he has now Mike's videos that you can watch, um, but I also like to use Course Saver. Um, so you just hit DAT and then it has everything here that you might need to watch. Um, so it is the 50 for, per month, um, but it's definitely worth it. And you just go through with Ari's study guide schedule and you just watch the videos on the days that he says. Um, but yeah, that's what I want to show you guys and I hope this is helpful.